Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we have a brand new silhouette from Adidas from their new Retrofee line of shoes that pulls inspiration from vintage sneakers but is an entirely new addition to the Adidas Originals lineup for the year. This is the Adidas Retrofee P9. Here we go. Alright guys, first up, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right below in case you haven't yet. Or if you're really into sneaker reviews, maybe hit me up on Instagram and give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. Really helps out with a smaller channel like mine. Now last month we saw the Adidas Retrofi E5 drop, a really awesome new silhouette that looked very New Balance 327 inspired, but had the advantage of boost cushioning for $120. In case you haven't seen my review of the Adidas Retrofi E5, I'll leave a link in the description right below. But apart from being a really great shoe that no one seems to be talking about for whatever reason, it was also the debut of the new Adidas Retrofi line, a series of shoes that seems to be retro or vintage inspired in terms of how the silhouettes look, but updated in terms of the materials used and the more comfortable boost cushioning. And the newest entry in that series is the Adidas Retrofi P9. I can already tell you that these random alphabets and numbers like the E5 and P9 is going to be very hard for normal people to remember. In this particular case, all we know about the Retrofi P9 is that they are inspired by the 80s and the 2000s, which is an interesting combination of decades to be inspired from. I feel like Adidas marketing is really overreaching with that description, but I'm just going to let that slide. The Adidas Retrofi P9 dropped around September in a few markets at a price of $160 in the US, making them even more expensive than the $120 Retrofi E5. As you can see, I got this really interesting rainbowish colorway, which is officially called the Ash Pearl Blue Red Box Dash Green. That is a long colorway name. But there's also two other launch colorways with this gum aero green aluminium, which looks a lot more easy like. And there's also this really cool bright blue solar red semi screaming green colorway, which looks more sporty. Seriously, these colorway names. And there's also this really down low ash pearl blue red box dash green colorway, which looks really dark. As you can see, Adidas went overboard with the colorway names here. Starting from the box, it's your usual blue Adidas Originals box with the white three stripes going across, nothing else new here. Opening up the box, you just have the shoes and the white paper with the Adidas Trifold branding. Again, no extra laces or anything else included here. I will say one thing though, online in the product photos, this looked like a much smaller shoe. But in person, this is a pretty large shoe. I'm not sure if that sounds weird, but that was my first impression of these shoes. Coming to the shoe itself and starting from the toe box area, you'll see the smooth suede overlay that goes around the toe box with these 3M reflective overlays on top. They give the upper more strength and durability in this area so that your toenails don't poke through. The suede overlays seem to be stitched on top of this textile upper which forms the base of the upper and extends all around the shoe. The textile upper seems to be made out of a plastic-like material so it isn't very stretchy. Instead, it's more like a plastic mesh that is soft in some areas and more rigid in some parts. You'll also see this little window on the lateral side of the suede overlay which exposes the textile upper. I'm not sure if this is just for design or for breathability. On the medial side, it's just a suede patch with these perforations. Moving on, you'll also see this TPU overlay that outlines the top of the suede panel that's here in this rainbow gradient that really gives the shoe a pop of color. You'll also notice that the lateral side of the shoe has this ripstone nylon hard panel, which might be aesthetic but does help make sure your forefoot doesn't slide off the midsole. Coming to the top of the shoe, you'll see another suede panel, this time in a cream color. You'll also see this white exposed stitching detail that goes around it and another appearance of the rainbow plastic outline once again. Weaving through these eyelets are these flat white laces that go through a regular lacing system. And underneath the laces, you'll see this decently padded tongue that has the same material as the rest of the upper on the top. Underneath the tongue, it's a softer suede material which feels really comfortable on feet. You'll see this layer folds over at the top of the tongue to form this light gray colored tongue tag with the Adidas Trifall logo seemingly debossed on in this light blue TPU material. Coming to the inside of the shoe, there's this gray leather sock liner around the heel area, which has a pretty good amount of padding to make sure your heel locks in comfortably. This sock liner is only around the heel area and the collar of the shoe. 
So your forefoot is just up against that mesh material towards the front, which allows the shoe to be really breathable. Towards the bottom, you'll see these Adidas insoles in a light bluish gray color, but this time with this very warped retro repeating logo of the Adidas and Trifold branding printed across in a black color. Moving on to the midfoot area of the shoe, you'll see the usual Adidas serrated three stripes that glide across the side panels on both sides of the shoe. As a callback to retro Adidas sneakers like the Superstars, here the serrated three stripes is made up of a black rubber or TPU panel, but with this white textured TPU panel on top. Sadly, this is not 3M reflective even though it looks like it might be. These run from the suede panel of the lacing area all the way down to the midsole. You'll see the rainbow TPU outline goes all the way to the back at both the top and the bottom of the midfoot. One kind of random element here is this triangular TPU panel at the top, which you'll see here in this rainbow gradient. I'm really not sure why this is here or which shoe it might be a callback to, but it's here. There's also this white suede overlay that's in a triangular shape towards the bottom of the midfoot area that extends towards the back. This overlay also has a baby blue colored 3M reflective panel on top in this inverted V-shaped design, which adds another pop of color to the shoe. There's really a lot of things going on with the midfoot area in the shoe. So this is kind of why I prefer the more subtle black or Yeezy green colorways, because there's just so much going on with this particular colorway. And lastly, moving towards the back, you'll see this gray textile material that forms the ankle collar of the shoe and goes all around the back of the shoe to form the heel tab. Now in front of this is a TPU panel that is once again in that rainbow gradient, which forms another heel tab for this area with the Adidas Trifold branding printed on in white. This is the first time I've seen something like this with like a fake heel tab on top of an actual heel tab. So it's a weird but kind of cool design choice as if there's a shoe that's been pulled over another shoe. Below the heel tab, you'll see the synthetic leather panel that flows down the left and right side on top of this red textile material below it that feels very similar to the mesh used on the rest of the upper. You'll see this black plastic outline around the white leather to reinforce this area. The back half of the upper is really stiff, so the internal heel counter does help prevent any heel slippage here. And then moving downwards, that entire intricate upper sits on top of this full length boost midsole, which has new tooling and is slightly yellow to make these shoes look more retro. You'll notice that the boost midsole here is wider than the upper and even extends a little outside the heel area to make heel to toe transitions easier when you walk in these. There's also this red TPU overlay on the forefoot to prevent any overpronation. And oddly enough, there's also this pastel light green TPU overlay right in the middle of the boost at the heel area. Again, I don't think I've actually seen this done on a boost shoe before. So I'm not really sure what the reason is for this. Maybe just to hold the boost in place so it doesn't get as compressed with every step that you take. I couldn't really find any explanation from Adidas anywhere on the function of this. So I'm going to assume this might just be aesthetic with this very subtle text at the back saying the brand with the three stripes in French. Coming to the boost specifically, if you haven't tried on a pair of boost shoes yet, you are missing out. I definitely encourage you to head on over to an Adidas store and try out a Boost shoe. The only thing that comes close is Nike's React Foam, but Boost has been around for years now and Adidas has managed to achieve cushioning at just the right amount of plush but reactive at the same time. This is why even today, a lot of people think that Boost shoes are some of the most comfortable around or on the market for years now because they just make for great everyday lifestyle shoes. It just feels great underfoot with that bouncy plush feeling. Now the reason why everyone loves Boost midsoles is because they do a great job at cushioning but also allow for greater energy returns as you walk around in these. And that is very true here as well. The Retrofi P9 is very comfortable because of that Boost midsole but not quite as comfortable as the E5 or the Ultra Boost because the Boost under the heel does feel a little bit firmer here. Like it's still soft but not quite as squishy if that makes sense. I'm not sure if it's because of that TPU element or maybe there's less boost under the heel than it appears but it's definitely something I noticed while wearing the shoe. Moving on, coming to the bottom of the shoe, you'll see this black rubber outsole that has this blocky thread pattern with the Adidas Trifold branding in the center in a green color. The rubber seems to be regular Adidas rubber with these tiny cutouts to the boost midsole that go around the outsole. And uh, yeah, that's about it in terms of design. As you can see, this colorway has a lot going on visually, but the shoe itself has a lot of elements, so it might be better to go with a more subtle colorway if you don't want something that grabs too much attention. Moving on to fit and sizing, now sadly that might be the only negative thing about this shoe. I'm a size UK 11, but I have really wide feet. So I went up a half size here and they fit okay, but there's something that makes the fit really uncomfortable here. And that's the fact that the forefoot area is really narrow. Because of this, I kind of feel like my feet were being squished together. 
Even though I went up a half size, which is a bummer, I feel like going up a full size might have fixed this issue for me, but then there might be too much room in the shoe because right now it fits well enough except for the narrow forefoot. So yeah, this is a weird one. I thought the sizing here would be the same as the Retrofi E5 because I stupidly assumed the Retrofi sizing would be similar. But of course, Adidas sizing is just unpredictable. So if you're looking to get this shoe, I definitely advise going to an Adidas store and trying out a pair in person if you can. Otherwise, if you have regular narrow feet, I still advise going up a half size. Even going true to size might fit okay if your forefoot isn't too wide. But if you have wide feet like I do, I definitely recommend going up a full size if you can. This is a real shame though because I actually really like these shoes. And I'm not sure if I can return them to Adidas because it's already been 30 days of having it. And I've kind of worn it around my apartment already. But yeah, please try them on in store if you can. Alright guys, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the Adidas Retrofi P9 on feet. That was the brand new Adidas Retrofi P9. All in all, I think this is a really gorgeous retro looking silhouette with a lot of visual details going on. The odd fit because of the narrow forefoot is really the only issue I have with it. Apart from the fact that the boost midsole is slightly more rigid than other boost shoes because of that TPU overlay. Honestly, I would rather get the Retrofi E5 since I prefer the New Balance vibes of that shoe and it does look more retro. And it's also a lot more cheaper than this shoe for some reason. This shoe in the green or subtle black colorway is definitely unique if you want to get something that no one else is wearing right now. Or if you want something that grabs more attention, you can choose this colorway or some of the others. At the end of the day, the Adidas Retrofi P9 is a nice chunky retro-ish sneaker that looks great and should be comfortable enough to wear all day as well. Just make sure you get the sizing right. Alright guys, so that's what I think about the Adidas Retrofi P9. I'd love to know what you guys think about these shoes. And are you thinking about picking up a pair? Or do you think the Retrofi E5 is a better shoe? Let me know right in the comment section below. Of course, if you want to see more photos of the Adidas Retrofi P9, you can hit me up on Instagram and maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if this video was helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below. And maybe subscribe in case you haven't yet, because that would be massively appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.